Thermal chemistry application. Find the enthalpy change. Delta H VAP means vaporization of chlorine. If the molar enthalpy of vaporization is 20.4 kilojoules per mole, if 250 grams of chlorine is vaporized at SATP, standard ambient temperature and pressure. So there are three parts to this question. The first one, let's label. Let's label out or list out what are given. So we need to find the enthalpy of vaporization, question mark, and the molar enthalpy of that, delta R H M, that is 20.4 kilojoules per mole. And what else do we have? We have the grams given to us. M is 250 grams. And then, is that all? Yeah, SATP. So SATP is not very important in this case, but it just means that temperature is at 289 Kelvin. Pressure is 1 ATM. And concentration is 1 moles per liter. So that's just common sense. So now we will use the equation of delta H vaporization equals to N times RHM. So that would be N. How do we find N? N is the moles. So 250 grams times the molar mass of chlorine. And chlorine is diatomic. So we have 70 point nine zero grams per mole or moles over gram if we use unit analysis. So we get moles at the top, want over given. If you are uncomfortable with using unit analysis, here is the equation. The equation is moles equals to mass over molar mass. You can use that. They'll give you the same thing. All right, that's just a side thing. Let's go back to what we were doing. So N is 3.526 mole, and we are multiplying that by 20.4 kilojoules per mole. And that would be gone and gone. So delta H vaporization is 71.9 kilojoules. And it is to three significant figures because this is three, that is three. And we're done.